This video is going to show you how to change out your logic board on your Craftsman garage door opener. The first thing you want to do is unplug the garage door and remove a light bulb if you have it. Okay, then there are four wires that need to be removed. Before you remove the wires, you should label them so you know exactly how they will go back in. There are four little orange tabs on the bottom. You can take a small screwdriver or your finger, push each one in to release the wires. You will also push them back, push them in to reinsert the wires. It is very, very simple. Now, this housing has four screws that you need to remove, four Phillips head screws. Two in the top corner and two in the bottom corners. You'll need to note that the two top corner screws are going to be machine screws. Machine screws are just kind of flat on the end. And the bottom screws are going to be more like a wood screw. They're pointed. So you make sure you put them back correctly so you won't have any problems reinstalling this housing. So after you get your power off, light bulb out, and these four wires removed, and your four screws removed, this black housing is going to loosen up, and there are two wiring harnesses on the back side of this that you need to remove. They're very easy to do and I'm going to show you more about that just right now. So we're going to go over here and this is what is going to the back side once you get it down and what it looks like. And there are the green board is what you call your logic board and this more tan color board is the power board. There's one wiring harness that is connected to the power board and you can see it has four prongs on one side and one single prong on the other end. A smaller wiring harness it also has four prongs and one single. You will pull those wires out. They just pull apart. And you will need to put them back when you put all this back together. But it's very simple. It only goes one way. You, just, you can't mess this up because you're going to line the holes up with the prongs. Four on one side, two on one, four on this side, and one. Okay? Now, the green logic board has four Phillips head screws. I've already removed the screws, but the, you need to remove the four screws. There's one, one's going to be here, one here, and there's one sort of in the center on the other side. Just three screws. That's it. So when you get your three screws removed, oh, there's also a purple wire. I guess that's like an antenna wire. You uh, need to pull it through the hole. And then your screws are out. So your green logic board is loose, but it is attached to the uh, power board with uh, some prongs that look similar to, to this one. But it's on the, on the other side. So there you can see just just pull it out. Just pull it out. That's it. So now your green logic board is removed. Okay. Next, your power board also has three Phillips head screws. And you, all the screws are all the same, so you don't need to worry about the size or that. But the uh, three screws on this power board are on two on the on the bottom one in one corner 
one on the other corner, and there's one on the top corner. So you get your three screws out, and then there's two wires. One orange wire, one white wire. You need to notice how they go. The orange wire is to the outside, and the white wire is to the inside. They might be tight, so you might need a little needle nose plier to remove them. So you, when your three screws are out, and your two wires are out, your boards are out. That is it. That is it. So if your new part that came in does not fit on your particular garage door opener, you, that's why you need to remove the boards and put them back in to the housing that fits for your particular garage door opener. So you're just going to reverse the procedure. It is so simple. So the first thing you do is put the power board in first. The power board goes in first and put in your three screws and attach your two wires. And the next you're going to ins line up the green logic board connector with the prongs that are on the power board. And when you get those lined up correctly, they'll just, just push it in gently. It goes in. Okay? When that's connected, then put in your three screws for your logic board. Run your purple wire through the small hole, and you're done. When it's finished, it just looks like this. Okay, so now what you're going to do is go back up to your garage door opener and you're going to attach the wiring harnesses that go to your logic board and the wiring harness that goes to the power board. When those, and you can't mess it up, they're just, look at it, look how the, there's four prongs on one side, two on the other, and this one has four and one and one on the other. You can't mess this up. Just but gent gently connect them. Then when you get those in, you're going to put in your four screws, the two on the two machine screws that go on the top corner and the two wood screws that go on the bottom corner. Screw those in, get those tight. Next, you will insert the wires that you marked and put them in the correct holes. And you can use a very small little screwdriver to, to just push these tabs in to insert the wires. Then you put your light bulb in, plug in your garage door opener, and your garage door should be working like new again. You might need to adjust the open and close force. You will need to look at your owner's manual to do that correctly. And you also need to reprogram your remote controls. And that's simple. By pressing the purple learn button, you just press that, your garage door light will blink once. Push the button on your remote control, it blinks, and your remote control is now synchronized with the garage door opener. And you can do the same thing if you have your car link. You just, the same procedure. You might need to look at your owner's manual of the car, but it's, uh, mine was simple enough. I just turned it on in the accessory position, push the uh, learn button, and push the button on my car, the one that I wanted for this door. And that's it. Simple. You don't need to be a mechanic to do this. That is uh, absolutely straightforward, ABC, one, two, three, easy job. And that's it.